she beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. I be beaming. What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday. It's August 20th. It's about 10 30, 10 40 in the morning. And I'm about to get ready to leave. And before I do, I was like, let me start this vlog. Um, I'm about to make my way over to Dip Custom Prints. Um, it's a screen printing shop. And I've been trying to go down and check out the space for a minute. Uh, they had a screen printing workshop in July. And I was so mad that I didn't get a chance to go. Because I've always wanted to learn how to screen print. I have. So when I saw the workshop, I was hyped. But I missed it, y'all. So I'm going today. And the, the great thing about today is that they've opened their shop up uh, for co-working. So they have free co-working on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So for anybody in Columbus, if you... You know, you're looking forward to trying to work outside of your home or you got to switch up your environment because we know how that can be. Sometimes you got to change the environment so that you can be a little more productive. Um, but yeah, so shout out to my friend Alicia. I'm meeting my friend Christina up there and I'm excited. I'm very excited about seeing the space because I've at this point, I've only seen their Instagram and it's just very dynamic and it's just dope. I can tell that they're really active in the community and everything like that. So I'm excited about seeing it in person and then just chilling out. I might get some work done. I'm sure me and the me and the girls gonna chop it up. Um, but yeah, so going there first and then second, I want to go to Trader Joe's. I've been thinking about Trader Joe's for the last two days, trying to figure out why I haven't been yet. I'm like, Rhonda, you've been in Columbus for a year and a half or around that, and I haven't gone to, to Trader Joe's yet. So we're gonna change that today. I want to go. And get some snacks and i'm also on the hunt for convenience y'all so i don't mind cooking i don't mind getting in the kitchen doing my thing right but things have been so busy the last couple of weeks y'all that things have been incredibly busy and i'm like i need more options where i can just toss something in the pan real quick maybe even pop it in the microwave or whatever so i think my focus is just going to be like i have no idea i don't have anything in mind i just want to you know check out the frozen aisle um i mean i'm gonna go around the whole store but i'm thinking like i want to spend some time in the frozen aisle see what their options are and i'm gonna choose things based on the sodium so that's how I'll, you know make my selections i don't know if i'm gonna film inside of trader joe's because every time i've ever been y'all you know the store ain't that big but it's always a lot of people inside of trader joe's and i'm sure that's gonna be the case today so i want to get in get out but i will show you everything that i picked up that i will show you um yeah all right so let's go y'all right, so i just made it back from trader joe's i'm gonna show you everything i picked up in just a second um but before i do that i just wanted to tell y'all about dipped custom prints y'all my time there i'm so glad that i went just the vibe was dope the shop is beautiful i loved having a chance to finally see it in person and of course i had a great time with my friends alicia christina the vibe the energy just a 10 out of 10 all the way around you know having a chance to talk through some ideas um, each one of us left with the project that we want to work on, which is great. Um, so I have fun. I definitely want to go back again for co-working, you know, so if you're in or around the area, you should go to dip custom prints and check them out, uh, for co-working. That's one thing, but also just for your screen printing needs. If you have merch, you, your organization, 
your brand, whatever you got going on, you should check them out. They will take good care of you. Um, so on to Trader Joe's. It was crowded, just like I thought it would be. Um, and I spent $146. So that's how much I spent for everything that you're about to see. All right, y'all, let's get into it. This is what I picked up from Trader Joe's. I got two bags of grilled chicken strips. I got two bags of this spaghetti dish. I, I cannot pronounce that at all. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, I got some salmon. I got two bags of this mushroom risotto, um, some orange chicken. I got some pepper jack cheese, some eggs. I got this cauliflower stir fry, uh, some frozen peaches. And let me take it to the other side. Over on this side, got some Romano Caesar dressing, some veggie chips, some white cheddar popcorn, some corn chips, some rice cakes. Got two bottles of wine. I got a Cab and a Merlot. This was something that was new. I don't know how new, but these were the last two. Uh, crunchy chili onion sprinkle. Uh, got some spinach and artichoke dip. Uh, got a bag of avocados, some broccoli, kale. Uh, got some feta. Everything and the Elote Greek style yogurt dip. I'm excited about that. I hope it's good. Um, I got some Greek yogurt. Got this layered hummus. So traditional cilantro, jalapeno, and spicy. Um, got some tzatziki. Y'all, I've been hooked on this. I've been hooked on. I've been getting this. Any store run that I've made for the last, like, I don't know, five or six weeks, I always get tzatziki. It's really good. I enjoy eating it with cucumbers. Um, got two watermelons. Got some mushrooms. Spice chai, y'all. This tea used to be the love of my life. When I tell you I would drink it every single day, so I'm so glad that we're reunited because I haven't had it in years since I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a long time. 1,000% <sighs> for this tea. I hope it hasn't changed. Um, and then finally, I got two containers of grape tomatoes. Making my way back over here for a second, I was really pleasantly surprised about this spaghetti. And let me show you why. So not a whole lot of added sugar in it. Uh, for one serving, one cup. 260 milligrams of sodium also 11 grams of protein i was surprised by that um i kind of let this one slide i let this one slide the mushroom risotto and i say that because first of all i was surprised that it was this much sodium i don't know why but i was um yeah that's kind of high to me for one cup but i'm like it's not like i'm gonna be eating this every day so i want to check it out i want to try it so we'll see um Anything else I was surprised about? I don't think so. I don't think there's... Well, the grilled chicken. I'm just happy that they had the grilled chicken strips because I don't know about y'all, but I just get grossed out like handling chicken. And since I feel like that, I end up not buying chicken like that, you know? So I'm really hoping that this is good or, you know, I can always add my own seasoning. So, yeah. I'm about to do a taste test right now because um, I'm excited about this elote, this Greek yogurt dip, and I also want to try out this hummus too. So, this smells good. That's how it looks. Ooh, you see that almost slid out. Leave it up to me. Let me try this with the corn chips. I feel like Bliss put me onto these chips. Like a long time ago. So I bought them a couple times. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is good. And it got like a little kick to it. It's kind of tangy. I can taste the garlic. Mm -hmm. This is good. I would give this like a, about an eight and a half. It's pretty good. All right, next up is the hummus. I want everything. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what's really interesting is that it's busy, but it works. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like when you first try it, it's an explosion of flavor. But then as you eat it, everything balances itself out. You get what I'm saying? This thing got a lot of flavor. Oh, it's a lot of flavor. I can see how somebody wouldn't enjoy this though because it's so busy. I like it though. I would give this like a... See, I like all that stuff that's going on. I would probably give this a nine. It's price pretty high for me. This is good. This is really good. And hummus is one of my favorite snacks. So this is so different than what I'm used to. That's why I like it too. That's why I scored it so high as well. So I would give this a nine. I like that. Mm. I want to try it with a veggie chip. I love these veggie chips. So I got a sweet potato chip. It's interesting with the veggie chip, it doesn't taste as busy because of the sweetness of the, the sweet potato. It don't taste as busy, but with that corn chip, it's very robust, like boom. When you taste it, let me see how I feel. About the elote. I think I might enjoy both of them more with the um, corn chip, but I'm gonna try. Not bad, but it's definitely better with the um, with the corn chip, which is fine because I like eating these alone anyway. So the next thing that's gonna be in the vlog, y'all, is it's actually some footage from April. It's old, but y'all have never seen it. So shout out to my friend Naima. She put together this initiative to like help keep Columbus clean, and I met up with her. And then our other friend Antoinette came as well. So I'm gonna share that with y'all. I'm gonna share. I just saw it a second ago, it popped up on my phone. And I was like, you know what? I'm about to include that in the vlog as well. So that's what y'all are about to see. I'm gonna take y'all back to April and then I will see y'all after that. What's up, y'all? Today is Sunday, April 21st. It's probably like noon. And I am, what is this? The Douglas, Douglas Recreation, Recreation Center? Recreation Center, yeah. I'm at the Douglas Recreation Center with my friend Naima. Say hi, Naima. What up, y'all? <laughs> y'all, we out here. She organized. Um, this is a this is a this is an initiative to keep Columbus clean. Yeah, yep. it's a trash pickup. So when I saw the flyer, I'm like, oh yeah. And for me, y'all know I'm trying to make sure that I get to different parts of Columbus and all that stuff. So, but also I love doing work in the community. So this is perfect. But let me show y'all. Everything is all official. We got gloves. We got everything over got here. Buckets. So we got buckets, <laughs> all of that. So let me show y'all how everything looks. Got the buckets from Keep Columbus. Wait, that is that who gave you the bucket? Mm -hmm. Okay, Keep Columbus Beautiful. Got the buckets. We got the little grabbers. <laughs> little grabbers. We got some gloves. So they gave us trash bags. Trash bags, everything. Vest. And this park is beautiful. So y'all, honey was telling me last night that this recreation center is um Buster Douglas's recreation center. Because he grew up in this area. This is a nice park. It's nice. And let me zoom in. So in LA. You see these a lot. If you're from LA, you've seen the parks around the city where they have like the workout equipment. And so Naima was telling me this is pretty new. Got the pool over there. So the park from, I mean, to me looks pretty clean, but she said we're gonna go off to like a side street as well. So we're gonna walk around the park for a little bit, see if we see some trash and get it up. Um, and then we're gonna go off to a, a side street, right? Off of Joyce. Off we go of off, off of Joyce Ave and we're gonna um, pick up trash. So I'll bring y'all along with us.
guys, I'm Antoinette Wood and I'm out here cleaning up Linden. We're trying to keep Linden beautiful and Linden clean. So if you're ever out and about, follow us on the Instagram for The Hair Chef and you will be able to see all of the great things that we're doing. Okay, no, no, no. And then, right. You right. tell people who you are. Right, what? Hold on. Okay, and, you, and we gonna talk about The Hair Chef too, but. We can introduce ourselves. Right. <laughs> what? Yeah. We just had this one. Right. Who are you? Okay, so again, I'm Antoinette Wooden. I am the owner of Columbus Archery Range, the only black woman owned, queer owned archery range. Yeah! The first, the first. The first, the first. The first. Okay, okay. Yes, so please support us at, at Columbus Archery. We are getting so close to opening, and we just want to teach you guys about the skills and make archery accessible to black and brown people. Yes. Y'all, the information will be on the screen and in the description box. Now, Naima, while you over here <laughs> telling Ansel that what to do about telling, talking about herself. All right, all okay. right. What's up, y'all? It's the Hair Chef. We <laughs> are a natural hair care company that stands at the intersection of education, empowerment, and environmental stewardship. Woo! Yeah. Um, you know, clean products. We talk to you about how to use sustainable practices to care for your crown. So, I'm so excited to be out here. Yeah. So excited to know Rhonda. She's been great. <laughs> community shout out to the freaking the seasoning is the best. good as can be you baby know, like even if y'all are in community with her y'all are so blessed to know her i'm so blessed to be in a relationship Aww, with her thank so, you that's thank so you. sweet thank, thank you for so inviting good. me out y'all i'm having a really great time and i'm gonna get close too but y'all see how the difference do y'all see the difference do y'all see do y'all see this trash we out here doing it okay for real. i'm gonna give y'all a close-up i'm gonna go a little closer because i i showed you the before but i'm gonna give you the after but i'm really I'm grateful to be out here with y'all and thank y'all so much for talking to the vlog Yay! to my people. I appreciate y'all. All right, y'all. So that is it. We've reached the end of the vlog. Uh, before I get up out of here, though. So while I was editing, I could not find the footage to give you a close up of the area that we cleaned back in April. Lord knows where that clip is now. I had it at one point, but I could not find it. But I think y'all got the gist of it. And, you know, one of my favorite things that I've been a part of since I moved to Columbus has been volunteering. There are always so many opportunities to volunteer, and I love that so much. So, number one, I get to learn about amazing organizations. And then number two, there's always an opportunity to meet new people. And I've met some amazing people by volunteering. So, I want to make sure that I continue to prioritize that. Um, that's it, y'all. I will be back very soon. I promise. Like, I'm really still trying to get back into the swing of things. But I promise you, I will not let a whole lot of time go by before y'all see me again. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. I will meet y'all in the comments. Make the best of the day. Be good to yourself. Peace. I be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot.